Welcome back to the land of leaf blowers in the distance. It sounds like a bunch of angry cows. So today, we're gonna to start tearing this down properly. I'm gonna strip this whole block clean because I need to clean everything up and I need to get a look at everything so I can really see what the kind of condition this is in. So I'm gonna take everything off the top first and flip it over and split the block to do the uh, crank and everything under there. Now, I suspect what happened here that caused the bearing failure in the first place. I think the oil pump might have exploded. Because looking at it, um, though that bearing cap was totally dry. There wasn't any oil in there. So I suspect that's what caused that failure in the first place. So we're gonna get to the oil pump. But first, I wanna have a look at the cylinders and everything. And I'm pretty sure one of those injectors wasn't working right. That's why it was blowing so much white smoke. So I'll test those at some point later. But let's start stripping this and get to it. Have a look at these ports. This head must flow like a bastard. There's some big ports for this. That's real good. There's definitely some oil, big oil leak around here. So, have a look at that. Look at that. That's the oil pressure sensor right there. If I had known that was there, I would have put a light on that so I could actually make sure this was pumping oil when I started it. Oh well. Or just thread a fucking gauge in there even better. Well, continuing. Yeah, it sure don't look like there was oil up here. Not at all. So, here's what I've learned so far. So, there's cross hatches still. The bores actually look okay. Well, I gotta move that one, but I can still see bits of cross hatch. So, notice the difference in the color of these pistons. This one's black and covered in soot. This one's washed right down. Now, that confirms what I was suspecting. Same here, black, washed. This injector is stuck. This one's spraying correctly. This one was not. That's why I was white smoking so much is because this injector is leaking or it's just the spring stuck and it's not spraying properly. It's popping way too early. So I got to take this injector out of this head and, uh, and check it out. Take it out, clean it, see what I need to do to it. But we know that injector is problematic. Other than that, bores look okay. So that's good. The piston doesn't look melted. So it doesn't seem to have gotten to that point yet, thankfully. All right. That is the top of this engine pretty much done. So let's flip it over and get to the bottom end now. All right, so some new information for me about how this thing is built. It's got removable cylinders and the head bolts are also the main bolts interesting way to build an engine for sure leave it to the germans oh yeah look at that all right Boy, leave it to the fucking Germans to build an engine like this. I have never seen an engine built this way. So we have the lower half of the block here. And these head, these studs here are the head studs and the main studs. That's just so weird. Never seen that before. But let's have a look. Okay, so we know that one's bad. That's got to be machined. But that actually looks okay. And so do the mains look okay. And this rod looks fine, and the camshaft's okay. So this is still salvageable. And if you look here, 
Bearings here aren't too bad either. I wonder what the fuck happened to that one. So where's the oil pump then? Because it's got to be... Where the fuck? The oil pickup is there. And this is the governor here. That's interesting that that's on the cam gear. So the oil pump should be right under this cap. So let's have a look, see if the oil pump's okay. Ooh, oil pump does not look okay. No, it does not. Here is the oil pump. It does not look good. Let's see. Eh, the inside's not terrible. Oh, the faces, though. Uh, that's a problem. And the insides look like they're okay, but those outside faces being scored like that? I don't know. I'm probably going to have to replace that. Let's see, how's the inside look there? Mm, not, not awesome. Definitely not awesome. But mm, hopefully it's workable. Okay, so that concludes the teardown. Here's the two cylinders. I like it when we have replaceable cylinders. That way, as long as you don't throw a rod, this engine's never really bad. Because you put a lot of hours into the engine, starts getting a little worn out, starts smoking a bit, not starting, losing power, just put new cylinders in it and a brand new engine. Cool. So, things that we know we gotta do. This crankshaft is gonna have to go to the machine shop, have them deal with that. And uh, I'll see if this is salvageable, because I think the rest is okay, because the mains are okay, this other rod is okay. Th this is very, very not. Now, I'm going to also have to measure this rod to see if it's still in spec with this rod, because if this has been ground down too much, I'm going to have to replace this rod. But other than that, the cylinders are good, the pistons are good. Um, I'm going to just pop some new main bearings in here and we'll be good to go. Camshaft's fine. And the lower half, all this is fine. Just got to clean all this shrapnel out and we'll be good to go. Now this engine's not that, not that bad. It's just that one little thing and this engine should be good as new. Well, and that injector. I'm going to take that injector out of that head and, uh, and test that. But other than that, that's looking like that's it. Put everything in a bin, put it inside, and uh, well, I'll do the next part of the video when I, I think probably when I get the crankshaft back from the machine shop. So, I'll do it.